Good morning, children. Today we are going to talk about transparent vocal compression. Today I'm going to take the lead vocal from a jazz track and I'm going to compress it to the level we need to get the tone we want, but try and keep it as natural as possible. Let's talk about attack and release. In this particular compressor, I have control over attack and release. I have two milliseconds on the attack and 200 milliseconds on the release. I get a lot of tracks from producers where the attack is all the way down to the minimum possible. But that makes sense. Instinctively, what they're doing is they're lowering the attack all the way down, which means that the compressor is compressing everything. What does that do to the sound? Well, let's check it out. So this is where we're at right now. In all your charms, whenever I want you, all I have to do is dream. And this is the same, but with the attack all the way down. Now listen to the transients. Listen to the part of the vocal. Where is my vocal now with the short attack? In all your charms, whenever I want you, all I have to do is dream. I'm probably going to have to give some make-up gain so that it's loud enough on the verses and stays just where I need it to be on the peaks. And I saw on the gain reduction meter that I lost about 6 to 8 dBs of gain on the peaks. So I'm going to compensate by about 6 dBs and see how that goes. Here's the song. <laughs> 